As we talk about West Nile virus being completely preventable, the way to avoid the disease is to avoid mosquito bites. Mosquitoes love the heat of the summer in terms of they breed very quickly in any standing water. Now we tend to find West Nile virus in mosquito populations usually July through the end of September. So which is when most people are out and active enjoying lovely mornings or nice evenings. To avoid mosquito bites you want to avoid mosquito breeding. So drain any standing water. Then to avoid bites also dress appropriately wearing long sleeves, pants, uh, you're going to avoid getting the bites. The second thing is that mosquitoes are most active at dusk and dawn. So by being aware of their biting habits, you can avoid being putting, putting yourself at risk, essentially. Uh, and then the, the, the fourth D that we, that we talk about is DEET, or insect repellents. You want to screen your doors, your windows, if you like to leave them open at, in the early morning or dusk. Make sure your doggy doors are properly sealed up with a lot of, uh, without a lot of gaps so the mosquitoes don't fly through. Uh, these are the, you know, the easiest things to do to prevent mosquitoes from coming into your house. The valley is very different than just a normal desert environment because we have a lot of abandoned swimming pools that are breeding zones for mosquitoes. So if you're a homeowner and you are gonna have to leave your house and you have a swimming pool in the backyard, it'd be really important and great for your community if you could actually drain that pool before you leave the property. What happens in the heat is very quickly, within a matter of a couple weeks, that blue pool that you may be leaving behind becomes a stagnant mess, breeding mosquitoes and causing havoc amongst your neighbors. The Southern Nevada Health District is no longer responding to citizen complaints of mosquito breeding or mosquito activity. If you notice a stagnant pool or are being bothered by adult mosquitoes, you want to contact your local code enforcement or public works jurisdiction. Now you can find that information on our website, www.snhd.info.